50,000 in the house at the Beaver Stadium to watch Ireland take on the Wallabies. Yes! Australia keep their form and they've got a penalty advantage now. Samu takes it away from the base of the scrum too. Oh, that was a dippy knuckleball pass and calf again, it looks like. Such an important player moving forward, Taniella Tupo for the Wallabies. Tell you what, it's bloody good to be home. It's nothing like it, eh? This is where it all started for me. Never ever thought I'd be back here playing for a different country against, you know, against Tonga. But it's happening and I'm, I'm grateful. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, do everything I can today to win for Australia. This is what you call a new, a new mother. Remember, see this guy's head? He's got no brains and he's just full of coconuts. <laughs> 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 It's full circle, you know, back to where I started. It's very emotional and it's, uh, it's going to be a, um, you know, emotional day for me on Friday. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Be able to, to be able to play at the Fiverr Stadium where I used to play when I was a kid and to finally get a chance to, to play in front of my family. You know, I've, I've got to give credit to myself for, for keep going. You know, because there were times where I thought I was going to go and give up. You know, because I obviously did my calf last year, and then out for six, eight weeks, come back for two games, done my Achilles, bang, went back to grinding by yourself. And, you know, it, it was hard, very hard. Also, just a special mention, lads. Uh, we've obviously got our Tongan boys. Uh, it's going to be a special moment for you and your family, but in particular Nella. Um, we know what your family means to you, mate, your country as well, but we're going to be your black crowd today as well. Okay, so enjoy the experience. Why don't you start working in? Start working in. Ah. Yeah.
there's a lot going on, man. It's good to see my old school, my family. I'm home, you know. Obviously, I'm disappointed we lost that game, but I'm very grateful to be back here playing. So, now it's um, appreciate the you know the opportunity to be back here at home and, and play in front of my family. Yeah, he's, he's done full units, he's done whole training today and done full units today and scrummaged really well this morning. So, yeah, we're pleased with where he is. He's, he's obviously bounced back really well. What we've seen from Taniela over the last probably four or five weeks since he's come back, obviously from a big injury, scrummaging really square, working really hard to obviously be as like a, he's a really big nail and we've got a big hammer behind him. So we need him to stay square in order for the hammer to work. So, yeah, we're, we're pleased with those two, particularly on the tight end side. Now that we're back with the team, you know, there's no better feeling, you know. What I've learned over the last few months that, you know, it's okay to speak up. You know, um, obviously coming from my Islander background, uh, speaking up is not an option, showing sign of weakness. And the last few months was, I needed to change that and for me to open up and let people know what I'm going through so they so I can, can get some help and you know it's probably the best thing that I've learned. To be back here again after what I went through and to be given the opportunity to play again. I mean very emotional but I'm, I'm like I said before grateful and it's going to be an um, honour to put on the jersey again. I didn't think it's going to come this quick but um, you know take this and you know, I grab this event and uh, hopefully I do myself, my family and my people proud.